Following the Lord's teaching and footsteps, the Franciscan community gathered together with the religious communities of the Holy Land and local Christians at St. Saviour's Church in Jerusalem for the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. Parishes and Franciscan schools celebrated the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi with prayer, the launching of pastoral activities and the organization of cultural and sporting activities in the presence of the Custos of the Holy Land, Brother Francesco Patton. Sacred Scripture is the true daily manna. In Jerusalem, the opening of the academic year of the Studium Biblicum Franciscanum and the Studium Theologicum Jerusalemitanum. In the words of Brother Manz, the importance of challenges that make one grow and awaken creativity and the importance of values. On September the 24th, Brother Francesco Patton, Custos of the Holy Land, presided over the Holy Mass to celebrate the 14th anniversary of the foundation of the Bethlehem House of the Child, with the participation of a group of priests, Brother Amjad Sabara, founder of the house, and many children and faithful. The Franciscan community gathered together with the religious communities of the Holy Land and local Christians at St. Saviour's Church in Jerusalem for the Feast of St. Francis. The Feast of the Founding Saint began with Vespers on October the 3rd, presided over by the Custers of the Holy Land, Brother Francesco Patton. On this occasion each year a very moving moment is when the transit of the Saint of Assisi to Heaven is remembered. The celebration took place in the presence of the various Christian communities of the Holy Land and of the new nuncio for Israel and Cyprus and apostolic delegate for Jerusalem and Palestine, His Excellency Monsignor Adolfo Tito Iana. Following the teachings and the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ was the theme of the homily of Brother Francesco Patton. He recalled the eighth centenary of the Regola Non Bollata which, in the words of the Custers, proposes a form of life according to the gospel that is a concrete way of living the Christian life. During the celebration, 19 friars of different nationalities renewed their vows, that is, they made a public commitment to respond to the Lord's call. Francis of Assisi, sensing that the hour of death was now imminent, called to himself his brothers and beloved sons, so that they could sing the praises to the Lord with a joyful spirit for the approach of death, indeed, of true life. Since 1226, every October the 3rd at sunset, the Franciscans do not fail to relive those moments, not as a wake, but as the blessed transit of Francis from his earthly life to the joy of the Eternal. In the words of the Custers of the Holy Land, the joy with the new brothers of different nationalities who have renewed their vows. It is to see that the dream of St. Francis is realized, continues to be realized throughout the centuries. The dream of St. Francis is that of a fraternity that is able to embrace all of humanity and even all of creation. And so to see here in Jerusalem young brothers who come from practically all the continents and from many different countries in the world is for me a sign that the dream of St. Francis continues to be real today. For them, then, it is an extraordinary formative experience because it creates a great open-mindedness, helps to overcome prejudices and stereotypes that are within our cultures. I would say that it also helps to prepare to go towards a future that will be the future of a global world. Therefore, the possibility, also on a global level, of a fraternity that is universal. Global, quindi la possibilità anche a livello mondiale di far crescere una fraternità che sia universale. On the morning of October the 4th, everyone joined the Franciscans again for the solemn mass. Present at the celebration were His Beatitude Monsignor Pier Battista Pizzaballa, Patriarch of Jerusalem of the Latins, his Excellency Monsignor Giacinto Bulos Marcuzzo, His Excellency Yasser Ayash, Melkite Greek Catholic Patriarchal Vicar, His Excellency Mark Jakub Ephraim Seman, Syrian Catholic Patriarchal Exarch of Jerusalem. Also participating in the Solemnity of St. Francis of Assisi 
where Monsignor Mauro Lalli, Chargé d'Affaires of the Apostolic Nunciature in Jordan, and Don Natale Albino, Secretary of the Apostolic Nunciature in Israel, Consul General René Tocaz, Consul General of France, Giuseppe Fedele, Consul General of Italy, Alfonso Lucini Matteo, Consul General of Spain, Wilfred Pfeffer, Consul General of Belgium, Evangelos Viloras, Council General of Greece, and Diane Corner, Council General of the United Kingdom. With the Custos of the Holy Land, there were Friar Dobromir Yatsal, Vicar of the Custody, Friar Marcello Cicchinelli, Superior of the Friar of St. Saviour, and about 60 Franciscan priests from the various communities. Martin Starzak, a Dominican, a tradition that is a sign of communion between the two orders, which is also repeated on the Feast of St. Dominic, founder of the Dominicans. Brother, it was part. Both Franciscan and Dominican orders have the same goal of living in poverty. The Franciscans to bear a witness of poverty and the Dominicans to preach, as poor preachers, the gospel in order to be convincing to the people and to the faithful of the church. And that is why the two orders founded at the same time are friends. Although theology has gone a bit in other ways, this does not disturb the friendship between the two orders. And on the Feast of St. Francis, the custody also had news. With great joy and with the support of the custody of the Holy Land and in the name of all the Franciscan friars in the Middle East, we announced the release of the collection of Franciscan songs in Arabic with the title Rabbi Wa Elahi. The collection includes nine original songs which are from the writings of St. Francis. We hope that these songs will be a prayer tool that brings us closer to God and through it we can pray and sing the same words of St. Francis, making his words our own as well. Happy Feast of our Seraphic Father, St. Francis. Laudato si, mi Signore, per sora nostra Madre Terra, la quale ne sustenta ed governa, e produce diversi frutti con coloriti fiori. On the occasion of the Feast of St. Francis, CMC offers a special entitled The Relevance of the Message of St. Francis of Assisi, Dialogue with Brother Francesco Patton, Custos of the Holy Land. Joy and enthusiasm invaded the schools and parishes of the Franciscan churches on the feast of St. Francis of Assisi. In the city of Ramle, the churches of Saints Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea saw a packed crowd of faithful to joyfully celebrate the feast and the start of pastoral activities. They were presented by the parish council, Terra Sancta Scouts, St. Francis Youth, Sunday School, Choir and Legion of Mary. All of these activities express the parish's desire for Christians to be living members of the church because our parish is not an idle parish but wants to be a living, effective parish and be an example to all. The Mass was presided over by Brother Francesco Patton, Custos of the Holy Land, together with brothers Abel Masih Fahim and Sebastian Matta. In his homily, Brother Patton commented on the Gospel passage where Jesus glorifies the Father for having hidden wisdom from the wise and the learned and revealed it to children. Brother Patton said that the child trusts blindly in his father and that we must imitate children in our trust in our Heavenly Father. St. Francis of Assisi knew how to be a child and trust every day of his life. During the Mass, the new members of the Youth of St. Francis received the badge of the Tau and the flags of the Scouts of Terra Sancta, who recently joined the Catholic school organization in Israel, were also blessed. At the end of the Mass, the celebrants exchanged congratulations on the celebration in a joyful atmosphere. At the Beit Hanina and Helen Keller Terra Sancta School for the Visually Impaired and Blind, Students study in a shared learning environment to grow in a natural atmosphere. 
There, the celebration of St. Francis Day included cultural and artistic moments, poems, dances and songs presented by the children in bright clothes with joy and pleasure. The celebration also concluded the school's extensive restoration work inaugurated by Brother Paton for the occasion. We renovated the whole school, the playgrounds, the floors, everything. This floor we are on has been renovated. The children are now living in a neat place in a tidy, well-equipped school with several playgrounds, spacious and clean classrooms and everything that is convenient for our children. Coming to this Terra Sancta school is a very good thing, especially after we opened enrollment because so many people enrolled. The school is distinguished by new departments with ample space and grounds. There is room for great activities and the level of education is also very good. Brother Paton said the values students receive in the school are in line with what the Pope calls for in the encyclical Fratelli Tutti. As Christian and Muslim students live together in beautiful harmony and Christian and Muslim teachers work side by side. He added, San Francisco sarebbe molto molto contento di vedere quello che abbiamo potuto vedere. Saint Francis would be very very happy to see what we are able to see this morning, hearing the prayer for peace. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace, prayed together. Hearing his own experience, the story of his life told by two visually impaired Muslim boys, hearing them sing that song, Francis, go repair my house. At the Terra Sancta school in Bethlehem, St. Francis Day celebrations lasted three days. Sports and cultural activities were organized, including a show presented by the students on the life of St. Francis and his encounter with Sultan al Kamil. The students also made wooden medals at the Picirillo Center, on which the prayer of St. Francis was engraved, O oh Lord, use me for your peace. Father Faltas emphasized the great role the school has played in advancing the educational progress over hundreds of years, noting that it is the oldest school in the Middle East. The Feast of St. Francis of Assisi is an opportunity to pay attention to the good seed planted by St. Francis, which has become a large tree bearing fresh and varied fruit. On October the 5th, professors, students and collaborators of the Studium Biblicum Franciscanum of Jerusalem and the Studium Theologicum Jerusalemitanum gathered in St. Saviour's Church, headquarters of the custody of the Holy Land in Jerusalem, for the solemn celebration on the occasion of the opening of the academic year 2021-2022. The Holy Mass was presided by Brother Frederick Mans distinguished professor who still collaborates at the Studium Biblicum Franciscanum. In his homily, Brother Mantz underlined the importance of studying the Bible, the Word of God which is life, and recalled the message of St. Francis to St. Anthony. St. Francis, in his great intuition based on the return to the essentiality of the Gospel as a real reform of the Church, responds to the request of some of his brothers who are eager to study evangelical theology to better understand the scripture. St. Francis writes to Anthony, you can study on condition that you do not extinguish the spirit of holy prayer. One studies and prays, one studies while kneeling. Sacred scripture is not like classical literature, but it is the word of God that has been transmitted to us through the centuries and therefore there is a need to have great veneration for the sacred word. In the words of Brother Mance, the importance of challenges that make one grow and awaken creativity and the importance of values. Today's world cannot move forward unless it finds values, and the most important values are in the Holy Scripture. Holy Scripture is the true daily manna. 
Brother Rosario, Dean of SBF, spoke about the grace of receiving students from all over the world. An anno particolare perché finalmente abbiamo potuto riprendere le lezioni frontali. Questo è importante. This is a special year because we were finally able to resume face-to-face -face classes. This is important for the students, but also for the teachers because they can follow each student personally. We have had the pleasure of having students from all over the world this year as well, even if they are few in number. The new students come from South America, Africa, some from the Far East and Europe. All the conditions are in place for the year to run smoothly and to resume classes as they did before the pandemic. We have a method, a rich program of activities and conferences. We will see how things go and we will certainly have to follow the instructions of the local authorities. Brother Rosario recounted the challenges but also the positive aspects of the online classes. We have been able to experience that there are limitations to having lessons via the web, however, it can be taught. Students can learn. There is more autonomy, it is necessary to have some imagination in the study, but it is possible to communicate. The situation made us understand the potential of these means of communication. I am happier here than I am at home. My name is William Nazrallah. I'm in the fourth grade. I came here to the children's home to play, to be happy, to study and to be part of a family. First of all, I thank the Lord and say to the officials, parents, sisters and educators, thank you for raising me. وكمان بكل الأبونا والمسير ومربيين شكرا لكم عشان ربيتوني Living in the arms of the family in a safe and clean environment, access to food, health care, education, play and rest are the most basic rights of children guaranteed by the United Nations Convention of the Rights of the Child. For the past 14 years, the custody of the Holy Land, through the House of the Child in the city of Bethlehem, has offered a warm refuge in which every child who is marginalized or exposed to difficult social conditions is embraced within its walls. La casa del fanciullo che a Bethlehem è per noi frati della custodia di Terra Santa è una the house of the child here in Bethlehem for us friars of the custody of the Holy Land is more than just an activity. We are in the city where the Son of God became a child and Bethlehem is the city of the child Jesus. This is an initiative, an activity and a work at the service of children who face greater difficulties at the family and social level. We must always remember that Jesus himself says in the Gospel, what you did for one of my little brothers you did for me. Suoi fratelli più piccoli l'abbiamo fatto a lui. Had albet and the risale gvire be hay medine when Yeshua wolled. This house sends a great message to the city where Jesus Christ was born. Everything that our children lack in their homes, educationally, financially or socially, is provided by this house, and its role is like that of parents. We are trying to raise new generations in this city. On September the 24th, Brother Francesco Patton, Custers of the Holy Land, presided over the Holy Mass to celebrate the 14th anniversary of the founding of the House of the Child. He was accompanied by a group of priests, Brother Amjad Sabara, the founder of the house, and a large gathering of children and faithful. We have been through a very difficult time. We have experienced the pandemic and its great challenges. 
I really hope that our children always feel that we care about them, that we love them, and that there are people who help them and are always by their side. At the end of the celebration, the Pontifical Mission of Jerusalem, the Association Pro Terra Sancta of Bethlehem, and the custody of the Holy Land signed an agreement to restore the kitchen of the house of the child. Questo luogo vuole essere un luogo in cui loro possono crescere con serenità, trovare un clima di famiglia. We would like this place to be a place where children can grow in peace, find a family atmosphere, find an environment where they are welcomed, accompanied, loved. An environment where they can be accompanied concretely even in their studies, perhaps sometimes to make up for some deficiencies in some subjects. I would say, above all, to experience the family as brothers because they share this same experience with other children. Childhood is the story of a dream, and in the house of the child, the custody of the Holy Land cares for this dream, holding the keys of mercy, generosity and gift.